Hello, Todd Clemens, Okeechobee Livestock Market, and here's your weekly market report. I'd like to start out by um, just telling you my Aunt Bill, Billie Jean Reynolds, passed away last week, and man, she lived a good long life. That was Daddy's youngest sister, and she was 90 years old, and we loved Aunt Bill and Terry Lynn. We're sure thinking about you and your family, and we had the service last week, and it's, it's crazy, my, our dad, my dad passed away two years ago on the same day as Aunt Bill, September 16th. And uh, the funeral services were on the 19th for, for Aunt Bill and for my dad too. It's ironic, but we, we loved Aunt Bill and man, what a, what a great lady she was. And so just wanted to send that out, uh, Terry Lynn, we love you. Uh, some uh, things we need to talk about uh, before we get to the market report, um, the uh, Senator Deb Fisher, uh, Republican from Nebraska, has has uh, made a bill called Cattle Market Transparency Act of 2020, and it is building off of the USDA's recommendations that they found when they investigated the packers uh, over the beef and cattle price uh, difference, discretion the big swing between what beef is selling for and the prices that we're getting as producers. So the USDA did their report and Senator Fisher, Deb Fisher from Nebraska, introduced a bill. And so this kind of ties along with the 5014 bill that Senator Grassley presented a few months ago, uh, which didn't, I mean, it caught some ground and was getting some places, but had a lot of a lot of fight back. A lot of people didn't think that the government needed to be in their business. So anyway, USDA did their report and said, look, cattle people, you guys need to come up with something. You need to look at yourself and get some regulations in place to have transparency in the cattle market. So Senator Fisher has introduced this bill and we think it's great. And so, you know, the senators are getting all this information. People are wondering why in the world you know, why, why are all these bills being introduced about the, the difference between beef prices and cattle prices? Well, because something has to be done. And uh, so we all need to get together and support these things that are going to make a difference in our cattle prices. And we have two senators in the state of Florida, uh, Rubio and Scott, call them and tell them that we need to get these bills passed and it'll help us. Another thing that's going on now that just came out Monday actually is a second round of the Coronavirus Food Assistance Program. And it started Monday the 21st. And this is an additional part two. So there's more money that the government, USDA through Sunny Purdue, uh, they're gonna send you money to help you get through this time. But you've got to sign up for it. And you sign up for it through the Farm Service Agency go to your local farm service agency, which now I think the offices are closed, closed due to the COVID, but uh, call them on the phone, go on the website, find farm service agency, you can Google it. Actually, the, web, the website, I'll give it to you, usdafsa at service.govdelivery.com. Go there, sign up for this. It's on non-breeding livestock which I think really means kind of your calf crop, whatever calves you have on the ground, not breeding animals, not your cows and bulls, but your calves between April the 16th and August the 31st. And that's $55 a head for your non-breeding livestock inventory between those days. Don't let it slide by. The money's there, it's been funded. It's sure worth doing. Now the market prices, you know how wet it is, it just got, crazy wet here in the last week. Last weekend we got a deluge of rain here in Okeechobee and most of the people I talked to are pretty wet. Pastures are soggy and I'm sure these calves are showing some signs of stress and, and cattle are stressing due to the wet conditions. Uh, and buyers know that. Uh, where they're going with these calves out west, uh, they, you know, these calves are stressed out and it's tough. All the orders are on the floor. And having said that, I'm, I'm just amazed at how well uh, good quality calves are selling. Uh, they're still bringing steady money compared to the last few weeks. 500 pound calves are still bringing between $1.30 and $1.40 on those front end calves. The heifers are bringing somewhere between 
110 to 15 or 20 maybe on those heifers, except for we had some really good um, high quality replacement heifers show up this week and those things were bringing even more than steers were bringing. Some of those heifers bring $900 or better. So it's very encouraging and, and I hear that red heifers are selling pretty high out there in the country which makes me think people are being are pretty optimistic either that or they've gotten the stimulus money and they're spending it one or the other but it's encouraging to see these uh, breeding uh, bred heifers and and breeding stock bringing the money that they're bringing uh, the slaughter classes uh, are holding up pretty good cows were just barely steady they probably were a dollar or two lower uh, and bulls though, uh, we're still selling bulls for in the 80s and 90s. So prices are holding up in, in lieu of everything. We did have some top prices this week. On the calf side, Triple G, Triple G Ranch from Sebring topped the calf market with a 285 pound calf that brought a dollar 88 bought by DNS. And on the slaughter cow side, Hammock Walk Limited of Okeechobee had a 1,355 pound cow bring 65.50 bought by Florida Beef. That's your market report. Thank you.